Yo, yo, yo. It's the Arthur in the building. I'm talking to you guys today about why she craves cr craves primal physical why she craves physical attraction on semen retention. She'll crave you more when you when you have when you're when she's physically attracted to you. This is just primal this is primal instinct. This is just primal instinct. We we have all these things about um about dad bods and things like that and the thing is like i mean it would be in your best interest to to put in to put in some work physically so you can so you can be undeniable because the, the thing is if if there if there's an and if, if there's something wrong like is, is there something that you might you might be lacking then she has options. She has options. She she can, uh, she, she can move on to somebody else as pretty quickly in today's day and age. So, I mean, the best the the best int the best thing for you to do is to be full stack undeniable, meaning every every single thing about you is is your you're okay with. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really mean it. It doesn't really mean that other that you're that other people are okay with it but it means that you're okay with yourself you're not you're not insecure about something about you and this is this is a very powerful belief to have if you're okay with every single thing about yourself now that doesn't mean that you you don't want any more improvement it just means that you're not you're not um insecure you don't want to hide things and you're you, you accept yourself for who you are now, like I said, you you can also try to improve certain aspects about you, maybe financially, maybe mentally, maybe physically, but but you're not trying to cover up things. Maybe you're not you're not sad that you're this way. Like maybe if you, if you like if you like um, physical height, if you like height, you're not you're not insecure about your height, and you accept you accept it for what it is. And I mean, you still try to optimize yourself, but you're not sad about the things that you really can't control. Now, this this is a very powerful belief to have because in this society, we're pretty much told that we need external things to complete ourselves. We need external things. We need these new shoes. We need we need we need we need, we need these type of makeup. We need these type of clothes. We need this type of status. We need these types of credentials. We need all of these things to make ourselves feel whole. And this is a b very big problem because it's not the truth. We, li we live in an, we live in a um, external validation world. We pe people need to be validated twenty four seven so they can feel okay with themselves. And if you if you have that belief that you are enough, regardless of where you are, what you do, and things like that, you're you're gonna live a very Free, free, you're gonna live in a very freedom state like mine, and if you can live in a freedom state like mine, you can really start becoming your authentic self. You can start becoming the person that you want to be. You're no longer hiding from things, and you can talk to anybody and everybody with enthusiasm because you're 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 not you're no longer insecure about something about yourself. You, you no longer care about what she may say. You no longer care if. The things that you're doing isn't meeting up to somebody else's standard. The only thing that matters is your your expectations for yourself, and if you're actually following it. That's the only thing that matters. And when you when you when you reach this dangerous level of freedom, you might be looked down upon. You might be ostracized. You might be think people might say, "Oh, look at this guy. Look who who does he think he is?" But this is a very dangerous state to have because nothing can phase you anymore. You're okay with yourself. You don't need anyone else's validation. You can move forward with your life. Your your intentions are clear. Your desires are clear. You're working to st steadily towards your vision. And the thing is, when you go on retention, uh, these things just become a lot easier. You become more okay with yourself. You, you're, you're obviously exhibiting a lot of confidence by retaining your seminal fluid for an extended period of time. You're... Ex you're practicing the art of discipline, which is very important. 
you're you're probably going to be a lot more confident. You're probably going to be intentional about the things that you do. You're probably going to your your imagination your imagination is going to start exploding with new ideas, and you're going to be excited to start fulfilling them out because you realize that everything can be obtained. You can you can conquer faith. You can become who you want to be. And like I said, when you go on a retention, it's just easier to be able to live your life like this because a lot of a lot of people they live their life very stagnantly. They they live it very slow. They they have no purpose. They have no meaning. They go they go they probably have a job and they go through their job and then the weekend comes they either party or something for 48 hours watch tv things like that and then they return back to their life and this is how pretty much pe- a lot of people's lives go i mean there's nothing wrong with this type of life but but if you want something a little bit more deep if you if you want a deeper conviction in your life if you want to have purpose if you if you if you if you want to reach your highest and greatest potential you're going to have to do things a little bit different because anybody who got anywhere had to go against the crowd. Steve Jobs said, "For the to to follow the path that is that is made for you is a reasonable course of action." So he said, "Therefore, he said, therefore, all progress is made by men who are unreasonable, and you can become unreasonable by doing a lot of a lot of things that you might be able to do." You can become unreasonable by first following your in, your inner instincts, following your path, following who, who what you really want to be, following who you what you really wanted to do, following your interests, following your desires, following whatever whatever you're passionate about. These things, I mean, like I said, are may may look ostracized. They might they may look like it's something that you shouldn't be doing. But in the long run, it would probably be better to follow this path because you'll probably be a little bit happier because at least you're doing things that you want to do. And and the, th- and the funny thing is, like you, it is possible to monetize whatever you're already good at. This is the big contradiction. People think that you need to do things that you don't really like to do to to earn a, to earn a living. And in some cases, this might be true. But if you're, but that's only if you're operating from the competitive mind. Cause like I said, there there's two type of there's two types of mind: the competitive mind and the creative mind. The competitive mind is the physical mind. It's it's the ego mind. It's the mind that says that you have to drive sharp bargains. You have to get up, get one from another person. You, that that they think that money is a zero sum game, and you have to exert yourself to get lost past so you can have wealth or something like that for yourself. Now the creative mind is is the mind from in, infinite intelligence. The creative mind is the mind that knows that all things are possible. The creative mind is not of the world, but it's it's operating from a different frequency. It's di- it's op- operating from a different set of beliefs. It's operating from a different perspective. It knows that all things can be created. It knows that you are a co- co-creator in your life, and you can manifest things at a very rapid rate. And you you can pass to this com- creative mind a lot easier when you go on retention you be, you be, because you become one you become who you want to be and two you're just a lot happier with yourself um and to to operate from the creative mind one you, you have to you have to offer a higher vibration you have to offer a high steady vibration now what does this really mean all it means is that you're you're enthusiastic about your life you're 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 happy um you have dopamine in your brain <laughs> you have a vigor for life you're just very very passionate about the things that you do and you're excited and you're looking forward to things you live with anticipation you live with conviction you li- you live with deep fulfillment and this these type of emotions higher your vibration and the vibration is this 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 default mood this your 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 energy field and whatever it really starts and whatever it starts picking up it's easier for you to attract a lot of things i i had an instance i had an instance this past weekend where i i i was playing tennis i i started playing tennis and we had two balls but one ball we hit it and the one ball um 
fell in the gutter. But we kept the other one. Now, the thing is... Now, the thing is, since one fell in the gutter, like, we only had one ball left. And then, my friend, we were saying, like, we, we were going to buy another tennis ball. She, she said that she was going to buy another tennis tennis uh, balls. And then... The funny thing is, when I was when I was th- taking away the when I was looking at the at the trash, there there was three tennis balls that weren't weren't open. The, a couple days later, they, that weren't open, and we and then I took it and I was like, oh wow, somebody was actually about to throw this away. But there were three tennis balls that weren't that weren't even open, and then uh, we can use that we can use that instead of buying another other like sets of tennis balls. Now this is a very important. This is very important what happened because this this is just an example that whatever you speak about consistently, whatever you think about consistently, whatever you're exhibiting consistently, whatever you're you're really talking about, whatever you're focusing on consistently will start to materialize into your physical world at a later date whenever you keep when whenever you take your mind off of the thing that you were that you wanted that you were talking about whenever you no longer are outcome dependent when no when you you when you when you flo- no longer focus on it things come up that you previously were were um committing to 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 thinking about so yeah like Things you start realizing that things start entering your life when you're no longer focused on them anymore. You might have been focused on them before. You might have had resistance before. You might have really wanted it to happen before, but now you don't want it. You, you, it doesn't. It doesn't mean as much to you anymore because you you might have moved on or you found something new or you basically are no longer focusing on it. And then once that happens, all the things that you sustain had sustained thought in the past start becoming start realizing so nothing ever is connected i mean everything is connected and nothing is ever done in coincidence so yeah like things get really things start picking up a lot faster when you go on retention your manifestation powers and your manifestation speed is through the roof and you can attract a lot of different things very 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 quickly like the video comment and subscribe we'll see you in the next one peace